Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking about the new Salesforce certification that just came out. It is the AI Associate certification. It is really cool. We got all the details I'll be showing you. Uh, the links for these are in the description as well as far as the study guide and the trailhead information that they provided. But if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm putting out new Salesforce content each week. And let's just go ahead and jump into this video. Okay, we have a few different articles we're gonna be looking at. This is the new article from the 360 blog from Salesforce. This was posted on September 6th. It's how to drive AI and data success with the Salesforce certifications. And this is kind of where they announced the new Salesforce certified AI associate certification. The link for this is in the description if you wanna read this whole article. They have it broken out about the data cloud and how these all tie in to you know, drive AI success in Salesforce. But what we're mostly interested in is the AI associate certification. And here is that information here. Now, I have not read through the, any of the information for the AI associate. I just opened up the tabs before recording this video. So we're gonna jump in this to this together. So the first tab here is the AI associate information. It has the link to the trail mix here on how to prepare for the Salesforce AI associate credential. And then it also has the link for getting the exam guide, which I have open in a separate tab here. If you scroll down, this just talks about related credentials that uh, could you know, accompany the AI associate exam. So we're gonna go ahead over to the other tab here. So we're looking at the Salesforce certified AI associate certification. We're gonna scroll down. So this exam will focus on the fundamentals and capabilities of AI and data as they apply to the CRM. The exam will be intended for individuals from all backgrounds, including business leaders and professionals who may have knowledge of AI, whether you're a beginner or individual with more experience. This certification will validate foundational skills in responsible AI and data use, paving the way for advanced technical certifications in the same domain. That is a really cool note that they add that in. So this, you know, the associate certifications are typically your beginner certifications um, that they have out here. So it's saying right here that there may be more advanced technical certifications coming soon, which is really cool. Um, it goes down into who the audience is, description for Salesforce AI. So you should have foundational knowledge of Salesforce core capabilities, basically an admin or maybe an associate and should be able to navigate Salesforce. The exam is for individuals who want to demonstrate knowledge, skills, or experience for the following. AI basics, Salesforce trusted AI principles. Um, then it talks about the role of data quality, data prep, cleansing, ethical and responsible handling of data, including privacy bias, security, and the ability to engage in meaningful discussions with stakeholders on how AI can be used to improve the business in different scenarios. So the candidate for this certification is not uh, expected to understand how AI models are integrated with Salesforce workflows and security, how any awareness of compliance requirements and data protection regulations and AI implementations, uh, no custom AI features, possess advanced knowledge of the complex statistical techniques, possess expertise in advanced data science AI research, or have experience configuring or developing Salesforce products. Moving down here, we have the purpose of the exam guide, which you can read through for yourself, but here is the meat and potatoes of what we wanna know. So about the exam, it is only 40 multiple choice questions. That's interesting, it's a lot less than your Salesforce admin or your app builder certification. Time allotted is 70 minutes. You need a 65 to pass. The test is $75, you know, your admin, app builder, business analyst, they're all uh, $200. So this was only 75 and the retakes are free. So delivery option is online uh, proctored, or you can go to a testing center, uh, or yeah, yeah. And then reference, no hard copy or online material, and there's no prerequisites for this. Um, so it says, and then scrolling down, we have the recommended training and references. This is great, so you got the trail mix here, you got your module, um, and then the certificates recommended but not required is the Salesforce certified associate, which I had mentioned earlier. And that's kind of like the step before an admin certification. And let's scroll down to the exam outline. So AI fundamentals is 17%. That means explain the basic principles and applications of AI within Salesforce and to differentiate between the types of AI and their capabilities. So 17% is a good chunk. 8%, which is the lowest um, weighted section, is AI capabilities in the CRM. So identify CRM AI capabilities, describe the benefits of AI as they apply to the CRM. 
We have ethical considerations of AI. It's 39%, the largest section of the exam. So describe the ethical challenges of AI, human bias in the machine learning, lack of transparency, etc. Apply Salesforce trusted AI principles to given scenarios. So these are going to be a lot of scenario based questions, uh, which Salesforce typically does in your exams if you haven't taken one before. And then data for AI at 36%, another large section of the exam. So these two sections you, you need to know very well to be able to pass this exam. Describe the importance of data quality and describe the element components of data quality. And then we have the exam code of conduct here. And let's scroll down and it talks about how to maintain your certification, which is you have to do that for any Salesforce certification. My two cents on this is this is a great certification. Um, I think this is a certification I may be studying for for myself and getting this certification in the near future. It's kind of right up my alley. I love AI and, and where we're headed with that. So I want to learn as much as I can about AI and Salesforce. Um, it is interesting. The largest section is the ethical considerations of AI, which I know Salesforce has been pushing. If you see their LinkedIn posts or the admin blog post, and data quality is something Salesforce always talks about, so that's their second biggest, biggest section as well. But this is a great certification. Be sure to check out all the links in the description. If you're studying for the, this exam or you're excited about it, leave a comment below, let me know. Uh, this is a really cool certification. I always like that Salesforce is expanding their certification kind of module and learning and growing with the new time, so this is great. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave it a like. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video and I will see you in the next one.